I think we know what's going on here. I think we know what this is all about. Do you have any idea how fast you're going? Do you need me to tell you how high you are? 60,000 miles an hour through space, 587 feet above sea level. Can you count how many fingers I'm holding up? I'm gonna have to ask to see your poetic license. Now, step outside of yourself and come with me. These are your Miranda rights, your memorandum rights. I'm gonna read to you tonight your random rights. You have the right to not remain silent. Anything you do not say can and will be held against you in a court of awe, in a land of infinite possibilities. Your first responsibility is to speak your peace. Now open up and say all. You've heard it said, silence is golden. Well, it is. It's gold and oil and bloody treasure. It's the distance between Armageddon and happily ever after. Silence is folded bills and emergency pills that sever resilience with killed pain and wills tamed. If ever your brilliance is defamed, have no shame, for you have the right to proclaim. I am Silence Bane. My name is Sound. Hear me. Roar! You have the right to fly, to throw yourself at the ground and miss, to shimmy into nothingness and mistake your slim chances for a dance with bliss, to go the distance with a blistered kiss from a practicing spinster's sinister twister. You have the right to know this connection with your beloved will not last. It'll keep getting deeper. You have a right to the procession of moments that rolls out unsteadily before us, eternal as a circle, wild as hope, terrifying as a first caress. And I've got a right to not remain silent. I spent a summer season much like the one that season us, taking over abandoned blocks with graffitied ceilings. We were breaking into broken squats with random swaths of tandem goss while television crews created news reelings about the things we do and still. Still, with that backdrop of surface heroics, when it came time to talk to that girl about the way this boy was feeling about falling, I became stoic. See, sometimes it's easier to shatter silence with a brick than it is to bridge hearts with intimate chitter-chatter. But I opened wide and I muttered what mattered. Let her know that I noticed every time she came around, I made a sound, and then so did she. You have a right! to saunter through sun-soaked meadows, kicking up dragonflies, murmuring your ascent to the creek's insistent pleas, bobbing your head to the funk of nature's beat. You're safe here. You're safe in sound. You're safe in sound. You've been safe in sound for 10,000 years. You see, when crickets and birds chirp, that means there's no need for terror alerts. It's the silence that lets us know when danger lurks. That's why the quiet in my house is deafening. Why it makes our ears ring, because we evolved with an organic symphony. That's why it's not enough to be here now. We gotta be something to hear now. You have a right to be tucked in, to be kept safe from bedbugs, bites, and other terrors of the night. These are your random rights. You have a right to ask why. You have a right to shout fire in a crowded movie theater if that movie theater is, in fact, on fire. You have a right to tell me that listening to my poems is like trying to drink water out of a fire hose. I'm just trying to put it out. You have a bill of copyrights, copycats. I mean, your bill of last rights. I mean, our bill of rights is on its last legs. I mean, I mean, we've got a bill of sale from our planetary going out of business sale. Everything must go. We are slashing trees in a total forest clear cut. It's a massive wilderness clearance. Don't act now to qualify. 
qualify for a $600 rebate check from the Planet Munching Machine. A $600 check from the system that's destroying our life support systems is kind of like letting your hangover buy the next round. Like trying to lose a race with the dawn and you've got a right to that. You've got a right to barely afford your post-colonial vacation stint to lead tinted sweatshop knitted plastic Chinese bits of worthless shit. You've got a right to that. Because you have a right to the truth, but it's up to you what you do with it. You've got a right to be left, but this isn't about that. We've got to unite to fight for what's left of our rights. To vocalize the world we want to realize, I mean. I mean, can you realize, see, that you are a wonderful feeling? I'm gonna have to ask you to put both hands over your head. Keep them where I can see you. You have a right to this world, this world that shouts. You've got a right to awe in this world that shouts joy that you breathe, that surprises you with joy and bludgeons you with magic, that sabotages your darkest days with laughter and stalks you with abundance and wonder. This world shouts joy that you breathe. And one day that will cease. And your life, like every poem, like every story, like every song, will end in silence.